the Bible college is still going on and <coughs> a member and a belong to ATA, Asia Theorist Association. So there are those who graduate our mini Bible college and who wants to enjoy that as well to study in Korea or the other country for MD or something like those. It is acceptable. And the uh, Wiki Bible Institute is a non formal Thank you, sir. <laughs> uh, good, good afternoon, everyone. It's a great honor and privilege for me to stand before the servants of God and share about my missionary experience. Uh, first of all, I want to give thanks to our sir, Ren Moon, his lady wife, uh, Reverend Divine Grace, and the uh, staffs of Witty and directors and the servants of God for this privilege. I give all the glory and honor to our living God for this privilege. I was praying a lot for this program, to attend this program, because last month till that 30, for 20 days, I was in um, cross-culture mission training. And I was led for uh, applying my visa. Because these days, uh, Korean visa, we don't get easily. It takes at least 25 days. But likely, I got within 15 days. And it is by God's grace, I should say. And uh, I was praying a lot, and uh, it was a hard time that I prayed a lot, and I uh, believe that God has opened my ways to attend this program. Yesterday, uh, our pastor Paula she has shared about the Christian uh, ministry in Nagaland, and also she has shared about her ministry in Nagaland. So today, I'm going to share about uh, my missionary experience in Assam. Both of us, we are touching Northeast, so I will not touch the Nagaland part. I will only touch the um, Assam part where I'm working, especially the part of Karbe Anlong. So, um, the Christianity in Assam comes, uh, comes in the year 1626. The Christianity in Assam reached in 1626. But people did not accept. Actually, the missionaries, they were planned to go to China and Burma. But on the way, they stopped in Assam to reach, the, to, reach to Korea, uh, China and Burma. But many returned back from Assam, and also many were killed in Assam. And um, people did not accept Christianity in Assam. But, uh, and during... 1850s, only the Christianity in Assam was progress. And mostly we, we um, all of us, we know about the song, I have decided to follow Jesus. So that songs come from Assam in Garo Hills, which was accepted by the Garo one family. When they accept the Christianity, the king killed all his fam wife, children, and even himself. So uh, when the king warned him to kill his wife, he said, I have decided to follow Jesus. And then word by word, and at last he was, even to the last of his breath, he said, I have decided to follow Jesus, uh, no turning back, no turning back. That is what the uh, songs come out from the Garo Hills in Assam. Now it is Meghalaya. 
So, uh, this is all about short, all about the um, Christianity, how it comes in Assam. Now, I want to show the... Now, I want to show how uh, my uh, our mission ministries uh, begin and till now. So, uh, this is in the year 2002. The first uh, fellowship when uh, our ministry... Uh, Extension start. We start with that uh, Tesh house in the year 2002, and from 2004, this new church was built. And uh, this church is built with the bamboo and uh, more by the uh, more by mud. And after that, in the year 2020, we built up this. Our uh, Sir Ren Moon and his uh, wife, they have visited three, uh, two to three times and they have shared the gospel in this church. So while well, they were visiting, it was like this. But now the church has changed, built up this like this. And this is the house where I first stay and begin the mission. I stayed here and I sleep here, I cook here. Uh, all this, I start with this house. And now it has changed. It has come up like this. So now I'm hero of the house. <laughs> <laughs> and that two, the middle, uh, that uh, guy and his, uh, that girl are my wife and us, our first convert. So they call my wife and I to dedicate their kitchen. They built the kitchen. The kitchen was behind. So they call us to dig this kitchen. And this is the baptism pool my parents built. My parents built for uh, this baptism pool. Mm. I'm working among the four tribes. So uh, the, that is, uh, I'm giving the baptism to the Dimasa tribe. The one is to Karbi, and this is uh, Adivasi, and that is Nepali. So, and this is another quarter for our uh, staff before I was alone. <laughs> uh, and the other side is Nepalese church. The other side is uh, garbage, garbage church. To these people, I'm working. And this is uh, our, so to say, Bolero and Scorpio. <laughs> 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 The best car in India, which we are using in uh, mission field. So uh, even it is rainy or shine, sunny, we move and even all the materials for building a house or for food, all we do all by this bike. And. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, with this picture I want to share to you all is uh, when I first come to this village, this is Kothalguri village, 
the where we are having mission center, the Christian were not allowed to mingle with the villagers. Christian were never invited in this festival or wedding or uh, even the villagers die. Christian were never uh, allowed to come inside the compound. But um, my wife and we we did so many um, so to say we did so uh, try to mingle with the uh, villagers in many ways. Even we use this we tell ahone that is our traditional uh, curry uh, soya bean. So my wife uh, they like ahone very much. So my wife cook so many ahone prepare many ahone, and by giving ahone. We mingle with them, and if there is uh, any uh, function in village, I send the envelope. Even if I, we were not invited, wedding we send the envelope, we send the presentation. So many with that, those things, and even to small to big, uh, all uh, people, I talk. Whenever I pass or whenever I meet them, I do my best to talk to them and make fun. And that brings us close. And um, with that things, I built strong relationship with them. And we were invited in the festival, lastly. So I'm working with that uh, girl uh, that is um, nearby our house. So after behind him, I was also digging the hole. So he said, Uncle, why you are you following me? So I said, yeah, as I follow you, you should also follow me to come to church. That's what I do. <laughs> and then my families were invited for that uh, uh, festival uh, lunch. Yeah. Yeah. And see, they never see the, somebody, when they pass the church, they never look at, um, even church site. They will look other side or straight away. And uh, at first, we were not even allowed to mingle with them. But today, that is the chief of the village. We invite them. We also organize the uh, festival that Bishu Dima is a very big festival. So they do, uh, they do function after 12. So we do in the morning. And we invited the village chief and elders in the village. And we give chance to them to speak about the um, festival. So the uh, chief of the village, he's inside the church now. <laughs> he's speaking about, he's taking, uh, telling us about the festival, and then leaders of the villagers are inside the church. We give them songbook and sing along with us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this is uh, by uh, this year. The on the other side, they call all, uh, they call our church members, those who are in the festival, and they. Um, take us picture to put in their uh, village calendar. And our church members are there. In, you see, we are uh, giving lunch to them. This is how we could mingle and work out. This is my wife, the beautiful one. Thank who is our, <laughs> who, who our sir is introducing. <laughs> she's, she's, she's also trying her best to dance with the uh, villagers, the traditional dance. Actually, uh, this is my wife. This area, uh, we see like sitting in the floor, but that is uh, the place for the VIPs, for the elders. Young, young people are not invited in that place to sit, but my wife and me, we were invited to stay in with the elders of the villagers in that place. You're still young? <laughs> yeah. I'm only 45. <laughs> and you will see that that is betel nut and leaves. You see that that is betel nut and, nut and leaves, but that is wedding card for the, uh, in their traditional. Yeah. So when that has arisen, when you were given that half leaf and half betel nut, you were invited lightly. But when we were, you were given full, uh, you are invited heavily. So I received heavily. <laughs> I was invited. <laughs> so my wife and we, 
attend the wedding. And see. Uh, it, it, it's just got rotten by itself. <laughs> and uh, this is also the uh, one thing. We were never inside, uh, allowed to come inside the compound when people died. But today, uh, I can, uh, I, we can go uh, nearby the dead body. That is why I click by myself near the dead body. And this is to carry the dead body. And then the top one, that is after they did the um, puja, we call puja, after they worship the Satan, they throw that basket behind, uh, road, road side, on the roadside. So some people scared to pass that, but I went and click by, with the Spirit of God. Amen. And this comes to the Adibashi. The first one was the Master Trump. Adibashi husband and wife, they got married and they don't have house. So they, they live in that house, that tree house. And that uh, red one, that is the, uh, uh, they made a round to keep their grain because they cannot build the grain house. So after um, maybe six months or seven months of their marriage, they could build a small house. They, so they called me to dig that house. And uh, that middle one uh, is the um, head of this village. Uh, and the side one is my evangelist. So that middle man, he went, to ha he went for hunting. And when he wa went for hunting, he was hit by Satan. So he could not close his eyes, eyes for three nights and three days. As soon as he closed his eyes, eyes Satan always hit him. So he did so many uh, evil worship to uh, cast away the Satan, but it could, did not work. He hold the Tao, and then he hold the sword, and he stayed for three day and three night without closing his eyes. So during that time, my evangelist, he reached, and he prayed for him. As soon as he prayed, that Satan left, and he could uh, sleep well. That is, and from there he accepted Jesus Christ. So uh, that is the um, place where he is digging to build a new church in that f a village. So he is leading the villagers to build the church. At first we start with that small house and uh, delayed by our ES. And now this is the new church. The, f uh, the first church was very small. We start with one family, but now it comes up 14 families within five years. The Baptist member has come up to uh, 28 members by God's grace. And now, mostly we are uh, doing children ministry now in our mission to reach the parents through children. So, of course, they come during Christmas, but uh, to bring... Uh, them in every service we do our best to do the children ministry to bring them through Sunday school so in Sunday school we don't only teach the Christian song or only the um, Bible things but we teach them drawing craft uh, even the lesson school lessons and also time to time we uh, ask them to recite the Bible, sing the, uh, their own uh, gospel song in their, uh, in their language. We teach them in those, days, in those things. And this is all, only five of them are Christian children. The rest is Hindu children. Actually, they are not Hindu, they are animism. See, this is how we do. This was CDP program. Children Development Program. We we uh, work in that uh, topic because in Nagaland we uh, say vocational Bible school or uh, seminar, but in Hindu place we call CDP Children Development Program. There is big difference. 
and this is my bike <laughs> on the halfway 20 kilometer behind me 20 kilometer ahead of me and in the middle of jungle I got punctured <laughs> and I suffered a lot I pushed the bike for 2 kilometer in a sunny and then uh, I got after two kilometer, I um, met one. I I got one house. They have pump, but there were no materials to uh, mend it. So I put the the. I don't know what the I roll the hair, and put inside the tire, and make it tight, and I drive and I win. <laughs> With no no option. That was the only option. <laughs> And that little, uh, that guy, black jacket, he's a bit ab abnormal. He's abnormal, so to say, he is crumbed by evil spirit. So every time we pray for him, till today, and sometimes if, when I don't visit him, he disturbs a lot at home. So even his parents say, missionary, when you come and pray, we stay in peace. But if, uh, when you don't come for some days, we cannot even stay at home, that is what they say. But it is not by my strength or power, it is by God's power. So they called me to uh, pray, to lift, put up that star. During Christmas, we put up the star. So they, and that is the first time I prayed to put up the star. Though I'm missionary, I never prayed to put up the star. <laughs> But that is what I first experienced. And that is salt and cabbage during lockdown, lockdown time. During lockdown, uh, when I was passing one village, they stopped me. And they, they usually call me pastor. They stopped me and said, Pastor, wait, wait, wait. Though you are not our villager, you are a good man. You always talk to us nicely. You share good things. So... Though you are not our villager, we will give you this. And that is what they were sh uh, sharing to their villagers, that salt and cabbage. That is what I received. <laughs> no chicken? No chicken. <laughs> and this uh, husband and wife, they bought gas for the first time. So um, to use that gas, they were so scared. Sometimes if it made mistake and brushed, that is what they said. And they called me to pray. And they made me to light the gas. And they cook. And the first which food they cook, they serve me. So many uh, unexpected things I always receive. <laughs> I, I, I hope you all see this. This is... Um, we call gui, gui, like it's like crocodile, uh, but small. It's not crocodile, but uh, mm, yeah, 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 big one. Yeah, yeah. So this it gives eggs, and also it, this is uh, it can eat. So when I visit the machine field, they hunt this, and they were so happy to cook this and give me. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yeah, I have tested before, but uh, actually I don't like. But they cook and they give me. So that local evangelist, two of us, we are eating that with that. But this the pastor behind me, we are on the bike. So he went along with me in that mission, that night we slept there. So this pastor, he did not eat. We ate uh, lunch in the morning, 10 o'clock, and we went to Mission Field. And that, uh, in the maybe 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock, we are eating dinner. So this pastor, he did not eat. But I ate with uh, salt and this um, onion, along with that uh, food which they cook. <laughs> so I sleep peacefully, but this pastor, he could not sleep because of hunger. <laughs> but Paul said, when you are in Rome, be like Romans, no? That is why I. That is what I do. Of course, 
even I had a hard time to eat that. <laughs> but I prayed and I eat. Yes. <laughs> and this is me. Don't think this is others. <laughs> <laughs> the, our machine field is uh, near the border. So we in Nagas, we are mostly underground. Underground means we are freedom fighter. So we have so many this, uh, military Nagas have. So even if uh, there is uh, if there is problem in Assam, the Assam police or this army they search for Nagas in Assam where we are living. So uh, in order to let them uh, recognize me as Nepali or Dimasa, I wear the Dima uh, a Nepali cap and I visit my church members and the villagers. And in the mission field. I wear this uh, gamsa, their traditional uh, towel, and I stay. So when the army or police pass, they never think that I'm Naga. <laughs> and this is me. Uh, I, cut the I buy, buy the firewood, and I cut, and I carry by myself. This is how I enjoy in the machine field. <laughs> and these are the ladies, now they are one is two years and one is one year. Newly appointed, they are working with me, so they are helping me in carrying sand from the river. And this is the step of elephant. So I, I slept in this very place inside my car for two nights for machine work. And after I left for uh, left, after two days, the elephant came here. So I was lucky. <laughs> and the other side, I was invited for speaker in the Christmas. So when my wife and we, we went for um, that uh, to be speaker in the church, we were asked to cook the curry. <laughs> <laughs> and this is me and my uh, one of my staff. We are uh, building the screen, uh, sling and also the scent we are, uh, what to say? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. This is how we work. I do all the carpenter's work in this uh, building house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is how we carry our Lord by bike. And this is also in the middle of the jungle. It was a lot of rain. So I found this house. So I went inside with him and stayed. This is the house where the elephant had broke down. Inside there were five members. Uh, their husband and wife and three children. Luckily they could run out from the behind door. As soon as they ran out, the elephant broke down the house. So the next day, we built this temporary house for them to sleep. This is a boy coming from school. So poor area. And for them, even the uh, sandal or shoes, they don't care about looking good. They only uh, care about if they could wear. So it is different sight. Uh, different color and different design, but they wear. Even they don't have clothes to uh, wear and uh, go to school or those. It's a very poor place. So one of his sister, uh, my wife and we, brought to our home in Dimapur, and we are looking after her. So this is how we take clothes to that place and distribute to them. This is our a church kitchen and that is the church behind the elephant has broke in in the night so we were <laughs> repairing and this is the uh, we call mora that uh, to sit we here we use the plastic one but we use that plastic with rope so um, uh, not that much well but i know how to make this so i taught them to make this and that is the first piece which they could make. In order to let them uh, 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 make this and to survive by selling. That is what I taught them. 
and these are the children during the program. So many children came. And this is in the Adivasi's place. Recently we did. Last month. Ah, this month. This is how we serve them. And most of the time in this area, we do the eating ministry also. That eating ministry is I learned from Witty Mission International. <laughs> any program they do, they serve. That is why I learned a good thing. So any program I go and do there, uh, we serve them. So this is how we are doing the children ministry. Before, the uh, parents, they don't even come inside the church compound, but now they are with the children inside the church compound. See, this is how the mothers, they are participating in the sports. Yeah, all this, still there are so many things, but uh, we have to save the time. So, um, if God open our way, next time we'll say, I will say that another one. This is how I'm serving the Lord in his vineyard. And during my 15 years of uh, ministry, missionary, I had faced many hardships. I have faced many hardships. This year, uh, my wife was telling me, because I have neglected my family uh, during this time. So my wife was telling me, huh, what happened? You are always busy for mission work. Now you, you don't give any idea or any um, opinion for the family plan. That is what my wife shared to me this year. So I, I, I thought and I slept that night and I said, yeah. Even if I work for the Lord, I, wish, I should also think for my family. That is what I, I thought. During my 15 years, I had uh, so many hardships. But the word of God in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3 and 15 always speaks to me. In verse 3, it says, mm, you, you therefore must endure, must endure hardship for the Lord. To be a good servant of the Lord. For the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, in verse uh, 15 it said, be diligent. Be diligent for the Lord. That is what the two Bible verse always speaks to me. I serve the Lord with two things. I'm not that good in speaking or I'm not that good in singing. But I serve the Lord with two things. The one thing is diligent. With diligent, I serve the Lord. The other one is humbleness. With the two things, I serve the Lord. Diligent and humbleness. Though I face many hardship and many uh, shameful things people do to me, but I never um, boast or I never shout back. I always return with good things and I humble myself. That is why the Lord always uh, lift me up and bless me. And today I'm the most senior missionary in WSBK among 105 missionaries. And then uh, we, the Simis, Simi Naga, we have Simi Missionary Fellowship. That is a big organization consisting with 24 organizations. So uh, the Lord has given me opportunity to be the president of Simi Missionary Fellowship. And I thank the Lord for giving me all this opportunity. Lastly, but not the least, I also uh, give thanks to our Sir Ren Moon. All, this is all because of him. I could uh, know Korea. I could come to Korea. I could live in Korea. And also I could uh, enjoy in the Lord's vineyard. May God bless us all. Amen.